Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your Leo Plus Libra love reading for June 2024. We are looking into feelings for each other, future actions, ending oracle, and advice for any of my Leos who are connecting to, interested in, and or curious about a Libra. So let's get started into it and see what we got going on in the feelings for each other. Leo, in your feelings, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Four of Wands. In Libra's feelings for you, we have the Emperor, the Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Okay, so Libra may have put some sort of final ending to this connection, but um, I'm not necessarily sure it's over, over. The first thing I heard from these cards were, you think it's over, but it may not, may not be. So... I feel like Libra, with the Emperor here, they want commitment. They want compatibility. But with Justice here, that's either the divorce card or they made some sort of final decision in this connection. And I say that because on your side, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Four of Wands. So I feel like for some of you Leos... There could have definitely been an ending here or some sort of big change between you and this Libra. But with the Two of Pentacles, you're not fully sure this is done. You're not fully sure this is over. And I feel like Libra, although they may feel like they made decisions, I feel like they're not fully certain on them, although they try to make it seem like they are. Let's see what we have in the future actions towards each other. You have the Two of Pentacles, Death, and the Four of Wands. So right there, it looks like in your feelings there was a change or an ending. And you're kind of like, is it over or is it not over? So let's see. You have the Chariot, the Strength card, and the King of Pentacles. Libra towards you is the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like if Libra made a decision to separate from you, I kind of feel like they're stressing out and or slightly feeling like maybe they regret it or made the wrong choice here. So I feel like they're still interested in you or they still feel attracted towards your energy in some way. So if they made a decision, I feel like they're stressing that out. Ten of Pentacles, woo. Five of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Honestly, it looks like either Libra, super uncommittal, or you were super uncommittal. It looks like this connection separated because somebody was way too uncommittal than the other. It's like the other person wanted marriage and a family, and the other person was not ready for that yet. So it does look like in Libra's energy, they are the one that wants the commitment. But keep in mind, for some of you, it could be resonating backwards if you're like, no, 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 no. I'm the one that wanted the commitment, not Libra. And it's just coming out reverse for you. But this energy does look like they are striving towards finding the one to be with. And you have the chariot strength and the king of pentacles. So I feel like your energy is in a position of wanting to move forward in any sort of way with yourself. But I'm not sure of this connection. You have the ten of swords, the six of swords, the three of pentacles, and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're open... So working it out with this person, you're open to see if there could be, there it is, page of wands, like a new spark. So I definitely see some of you Leos trying to either just be civil with this Libra or just be, you know, still in contact, still friends type of energy or still not in the position of being, you know, passive aggressive towards each other or whatever. But I feel like there is... A big iffiness of commitment. You have the Page of Wands as your future actions and the Temperance card to the Knight of Cups. So I kind of feel like, Leo, you're still interested in this person. I feel like you wouldn't mind this connection coming back into your life or being more front and center in your life again. 
They have the Two of Cups, so the Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups. I feel like this Libra knows that they want commitment. I just don't feel like they know exactly what type of energy that they want it with. So I feel like Libra is going to be open to speaking to you in a, de a degree. Uh, a certain magnitude. I don't get them saying too much or doing too much. And I feel like for some of you, if you do decide to reach out to this person or say more, I'm not necessarily sure they'll answer right away. I get like this. It, it, I get this energy where it's like you two could be on the same page of what you want out of life, but you two are in two different books. It's like same page, different book. And when you're in a totally different book, that means you're in a totally different journey. So I feel like you two may just have different purposes or different ways that you view relationships. So let's see what we have as the Oracle. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be a whole lot of what's going on here for the rest of the month, honestly. You have Purge, they have Lessons, you have Divine Feminine, they have Union, you have Fifth Dimension, they have Metamorphosis, you have Shadow Work, they have Unawakened, you have Tribe, and they have Surrender. Yeah, so I feel like Libra feels like they're trying to learn from what they go through, but I don't necessarily feel like they are absorbing much of the lessons at this moment. And you look like you're in a position of purging. Um, whether you are purging more of a person in this individual or just purging more of a feeling. Let's see. You have mask and solitude. So um, if you haven't been spending more time in solitude from this Libra, you may start doing that in June. Or you may just come to a realization that being in solitude is more beneficial for you. They have action to destruction and fresh start. Yeah. Yeah. So I get if you take action towards this person, they're like, a, they're like, I kind of get their energy. They don't show it on the surface, but I feel like deep down inside they're going through it in some sort of degree here because they're either regretting a decision they made or they may have said something to you that they didn't feel like was the right thing to do or they may have said something to you too late and like missed their window of opportunity. There's something here where this person is like overthinking, but they're doing it in a way where they're not doing anything towards you either. So sometimes you just got to let people make, make the mess and they can clean it up type of energy. This is the advice between the two of you. And it says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yeah. Yeah. So there could be a big accepting moment of accepting just where this is at at the moment and not putting much thought into it or much stress into it. And I kind of feel like that's exactly what's going to happen. So there could be a separation between the two of you that is like in a push and pull type of way for the rest of this month. Or there could be an up in the air energy of where is this going that feels like a push and pull for the rest of the month. So. That's what I have here for Leo plus Libra. Thank you for being here and for watching. If you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it is not already out, just subscribe and ring the bell and you will get an alert of the zodiac sign you are waiting on. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.